The last choice available to developers for parallel execution strategies is the custom strategy. Alongside this value, the implementation of an interface is provided to the test engine using a fully qualified class name. And this class is then used to determine parallelism at runtime. Now, if you want to create a custom strategy, you will need to add a dependency on the JUnit platform engine library and add that to your project first, because that is where the interface is located that we need to implement. It's called Parallel Execution Configuration Strategy, and it contains exactly one method, called Create Configuration. Before we implement the body of this class, though, I'm going to register it to Jupyter by adding a system property to the JVM. Setting the config strategy parameter to custom will enable the test engine to look for a custom strategy. And here is the companion parameter called custom.class, of course with the Jupyter prefix. And this parameter needs to be set to the fully qualified class name of our implementation. This is what the final example looks like. Back to the implementation, the first thing to note is the method signature of the strategy interface. Developers are handed the configuration parameters known to the test engine, which makes it possible to read even more external information from the JVM's system properties here. The custom configuration parameter can have an arbitrary name. However, it's important that its key starts with a common prefix, JUnit Jupyter Execution Parallel Config. If you don't do this, your parameter will not show up in this object. The prefix is stripped off by the test engine before it passes the parameters to you, so be sure to look only for the suffix in the implementation class. In this example, the number of parallel threads to use will be determined by the amount of hearts provided in a config parameter called custom.love. After receiving the parameter from the provided structure, we count the number of heart characters in the resulting string or we throw an exception if the parameter wasn't even given to the JVM. Afterwards, we create a parallel execution strategy object. And that has a couple of methods that provide the runtime environment values for JUnit Jupyter, such as core and maximum thread pool size, number of threads to use, and the parallelism itself, which is the number of threads to run. Our custom implementation will just set all of these values to the same number. Before executing the test class again, the system properties have to be reviewed one more time, because our custom parameter still needs to be passed to the JVM. I'm setting the parallelism to two heart emoji, which will tell Jupyter to use two simultaneous threads for execution, as per the custom strategy implementation. Now observe how the custom behavior is used at runtime.